Hello guys, welcome to this video. So in today's video, we'll be working on the LED chaser with DC motor and what is quite different from the other LED chasers is that we'll be incorporating wireless power transmission into this project. In addition to this, no IC or integrated circuit will be used for the LEDs. Actually, I saw a bunch of guys doing this, but in order to avoid the battery, which will eventually run out of charge, wireless power transmission has been used. If you are unfamiliar with how electricity is transferred wirelessly, please do watch the previous video which was uploaded on this channel and I'll leave the link in the description box below. In order to hold all the LEDs, we are using the plastic and of course, if you want, you can use any other material to hold the LEDs in a stable position while rotating and also uh, the distance among the LEDs is one centimeter. For this project, different types of LEDs have been used. For instance, red LED, which only blinks under the constant voltage and other LEDs, which light up blue, yellow, green, uh, red and white have been used as well. Apart from this, there are two LEDs which light up uh, in three different colors with different combinations in order to connect all the LEDs. Uh, copper wire from the old transformer has been used. LEDs have been connected according to the following image, that's in sequence and in parallel. After connecting the LEDs, this black plastic has been mounted to attach to the DC motor shaft. If you want, you can use anything else like a gear which can be mounted on the DC motor shaft. This coil was used in the output side for the previous project to get the idea of how wireless power transmission works. You can watch the previous video. For the output coil, we have 30 loops. According to the circuit, we are using the diode rectifier along with the capacitor. 